9 on UTV Island. DCI Barnaby, cousin of the other DCI Barnaby. So what do we think of that? Nice to meet one of them to be a snitty dog, but says he has science problems. Midsummer Murders, Tuesday at 8 on UTV Island. Time is half past six. We cross now to the new studios of UTV Ireland for the latest national and international news and the brand new Ireland Live. This is Ireland Live with Alison Cummins. Tax revenues are up and the deficit is down. Is Ireland on the road to recovery? I'm in county court to assess whether this talk of recovery actually means anything to people on the ground. We'll be hearing shortly from the Minister for Finance, Michael Noonan, also in the programme. The social cost of recession, nurses threaten to strike as patient numbers on trolleys is the highest ever. Probably the biggest problem in Dublin Cycling is the cyclists themselves. They don't seem to have any anti villains on the roads. Cycling fatalities double in Ireland, only half will survive a crash at speed. You're very welcome to Ireland Live. Well, it all looks good on paper at the beginning of a new year. The government was keen today to point out the country is in recovery mode. The Exchequer took in almost three and a half billion euro extra in taxes in 2014. We'll be hearing from the Minister for Finance later, but first, throughout the week, we'll be reporting from around the country to see whether the recovery is taking hold. This evening, our economics editor, Paul Colgan, is in Cork. Well, Alison, these figures today from the Department of Finance aren't entirely surprising. More confirmation, perhaps, that 2014 was an improving year for the Irish economy. You see that with big increases in income tax, a big increase in VAT. But many people will tell you they hear these figures all the time, but they're not feeling it in their pockets. They're still weighed down by huge personal and public debt the legacy of, of austerity, things like water charges and property tax. Now, I've been to one town in North County Cork to assess whether people are feeling any benefit from increased economic activity. We went looking for an every town, somewhere that could tell the story of Ireland's economic crash and which perhaps could point the way to a better future. Mitchell's town in Cork was where we ended up. Major job losses? Well, Mitchell's town had them along with one of the highest rates of unemployment in the country. But things could be looking up. Last September, the town's biggest employer, Derry Gold, announced a major expansion with scores of new jobs. Mark Waldron opened his greengrocer shop on the main street in 2009. His story is like that of thousands of other small Irish retailers. Disposable incomes are still under pressure, and on the edge of town, he has an Aldi store, promising cheaper prices. It's, it, it, it is difficult. It is difficult. We need, I mean, we need more people to shop local. Even if they took 10% out of their uh, supermarket shopping every week and put it back down to the main street, it would create huge amounts of money. Mitchell's Town is also home to Aldi's massive southern distribution centre. It's from here that deliveries go out to 100 of its stores. Small business people might like it. But Irish people are embracing the foreign discount stores in ever bigger numbers, and it's not necessarily bad for local business either. You know, we have 160 jobs there in the Aldi. They come there naturally enough for their, for their fuel. A lot of new, a lot of new faces starting to appear around the place again. 